Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to discuss how to process text file in Databricks development. How to create data frame by reading text file through Spark Reader. In today's big data world, we are most often dealing with big data file formats such as Spark, Avro, ORC, even CSV, JSON. But processing data through text file is very very limited. But at the same time, we cannot ignore text file. Why? Because in most of the projects, still some portion of the data is coming through text file. The data could be metadata or some master data management or some configuration data. You know, these are the some examples of uh, data that is coming through text file. So we have to create data frame out of text file. Then we have to process that according to use case. So it's important to understand how to create data frame out of text file. This is one of the simple exercise. But at the same time, in this uh, video, I am going to focus on scenario fixed length text file, which means we are not going to have any delimiter in the text file. Instead of that, each and every column in that uh, particular uh, text file is going to be fixed. So we are going to get fixed character of uh, data for each column. As a result, we will have fixed uh, number of characters for each record in the text file. Now we have to read and we have to split according to our schema. That is what I am going to give a demo in this video. So let's understand the fixed length text file first. So for that, let's get started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment and my cluster is also up and running. First step, I have to upload the text file into Databricks file system. I have already done that. So we can verify that using file system command ls file store. This is the folder under which I have uploaded text file. Let me execute this step. Execution is completed. Now we can see all the files uploaded under the folder file store. And coming to our demo, this is the data that I have uh, prepared. City temperature data dot txt. This is the text file that I have prepared for this demo and uploaded under file store. Right. Now let us uh, quickly verify the data. You know what kind of data we are having inside this particular file. So for that, I'm going to use another file system command hit. Then I'm giving that file. So this is the data that we are having inside city temperature data. Basically, this is having four columns. Uh, let me explain this uh, data structure. So look at the first uh, record. So this is uh, divided into multiple columns. The first eight characters you know, that are that is part of field date. So this is following the standard of YYYY MMDD. And coming to the second uh, column, next three characters that would be part of city code. And next six characters that is pin code. And final four characters including the dot uh, that is temperature. So this is how my data is divided into multiple columns. But coming to text file, this is the fixed length. It is going to have 21 characters for each and every record. Not even single character less, not even single character more. Right. Now my requirement is I have to create data frame out of this. And also I have to split my data according to this schema. I should have four columns, date, city code, pin code and temperature. Right. So for this requirement, first step is I have to create data frame by reading text file. So for that, we have to use spark reader command that is spark dot read. Then we have to use format that is text. Either we can use dot format within that we can give text. Otherwise, directly we can give dot text within that we have to give the location of data file. So here I have uh, given the location of my data file and let me execute. It is going to create the data frame. Then it will display here. So execution is completed. Now we can see data frame df got created and it is having fixed length of uh, records. Right. Now my requirement is I have to split this data into multiple columns according to my schema. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one dictionary. The dictionary is called field details. So uh, this is a Python dictionary. So we have to use curly brace within the curly brace. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep key value pairs. Key is my column name and coming to value. It is going to have combination of starting position of each column and what is the length of that particular column. So coming to date, you know that starting position is uh, one and it is having eight character. Coming to city code, the starting position is nine and uh, the length is three characters. Coming to pin code, the starting position is 12, uh, 12th position 
and it's having six characters coming to temperature the starting position is eight and it is having four characters right now i have defined my uh, uh, now i have defined my schema which means column along with its uh, field position now in the next step what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a for loop using the for loop i'm going to iterate uh, uh, all the fields one by one using the dictionary then i'm going to add a new column so the column column name will come from this dictionary and also the starting position and the length will come from this particular field so here i am going to use the function substring for that reason i have to import substring function in this step i have Im uh, imported uh, substring now i am iterating uh, this uh, dictionary one by one so for each and every field we are going to add a new column that is called a field that is nothing but it is coming from these names first time it is uh, going to add a date column second time city city code third time pin code and lastly its temperature so it is going to split the uh, actual data here now the actual data that is called uh, value here we can see so it is going to uh, split the data from the value based on the starting position and the length that is coming from this dictionary i hope you understood and finally i am going to drop the value column which is having fixed length of uh, characters for each record because that is not needed now we have split the value into uh, multiple columns then finally i am going to display now i can execute this cell here we can see here the text file is split into multiple columns date it is having eight characters city code that is having three characters and pin code it is having six characters and temperature four characters this is how we can read text file and we can split based on the fixed length i hope you understood in case in your project you are having these kind of requirement then I recommend to create utility function. You can create a user defined function which can accept uh, the input data frame, which is nothing but this data frame DF, and also it can accept the input parameter of the dictionary. Then, based on that, uh, inside the user defined function, it will uh, use the for loop. Then, finally, it will return the output uh, data frame, which is uh, containing the splitted data in the form of data frame. I hope you understood this concept. Hope you enjoyed. If you like the content of this video, Please like and comment in the channel. Please subscribe this channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button to get latest videos and updates on Spark and Databricks. Thank you.